This poem is called One Soldier. One lonely soldier marching on, afraid of what's in store. She was in a battle for her life, scared of facing more. Her spirits soon were lifted at the sight of something new. A fellow soldier joined her. They were an army of two. Once again it happened. Someone joined them in the fight. And the first lonely soldier began to see some light. Everywhere she looked now, there came a friendly face. More soldiers to join the battle to see her through the race. They came in every color, both young and the old. They stood together side by side, their spirits growing bold. They would fight together faithfully, for the soldier was their friend supporting her through the battle with a love that has no end. Hey everybody, um, we are on our way to the hospital. Um, now, I got a break from last week. I did not have to take the chemo treatment and I was told by the um, the doctor's assistant that I would be moving on to the AKA Red Devil Blood of Jesus um, treatment instead of doing the last 12th treatment, which would be today. But I looked on my chart and it says it's a four hour treatment today. So I don't think that the Blood of Jesus Devils or red devil I don't think that it takes four hours for it to go in so I'm not sure what I'm getting this time uh, I may have to finish the last round of getting all three of the chemos that I have been getting the chemicals I've been getting he might say that he wants me to do that this time and then stay on the schedule for next for next week so, your guess is good as mine. I don't know, but it was great to have a break from last week. I mean, I got to go out and we went to the gorge and we got to do a little, just a little tiny hike. It's, it wasn't, it's only like a fourth of a mile. And I'll tell you, that wore me out. Going from hiking three to five miles a day, and I'm talking every day. I didn't miss a day. Rain, snow, sleet, shine. We would always walk. So going from, you know, hiking three to five miles a day to just this one fourth of a mile hike, it wore me out. And it's, I know that my blood red, my red blood cells are low. So, and that's what carries oxygen to your heart and to your brain and to your lungs. So I don't know, I don't know, but it was good to have a great break. I was able to eat. I ate like a daggone pig this week. <laughs> I gained probably like five pounds. Um, so, um, so it's up in the air. I'm not sure what is happening this time. It just all depends on my my blood results. Uh, it depends. I did break out in a rash after I took the chemo from two weeks ago. Uh, itchy, 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 itchy rash all over the place. I'm talking everywhere. <laughs> and that, that might have been the deal sealer for not having to take it last week. I don't know. But it's starting to heal now. I'm not itching as much. Uh, my nosebleeds are starting to slow down. But now I have to I'm grateful for the break. Remember, we got to count our little blessings. So... I don't know what we're getting. We may not get chemo at all. We may end up getting moving on to the next step, which is the Red Devil, Jesus, Blood of Jesus. Or we may end up just taking the last round of the three chemicals and then starting the next step next week. I don't know. Um, my chart has changed and I did have an appointment to get the white blood cell boosters but those have disappeared so we're gonna have to talk to the doctor and see what is going on with the chart 
but at least at least I know that I have to go to the labs and then I have to go to the oncologist who's, who we're going to talk to and I am talking to the actual doctor this week so we're going to see what the plan is I have a feeling he's going to change the plan but you know like we always say lay, we have to leave it at at the feet of God God's feet God will lay it at God's feet because you know we just are going to do whatever is asked of us and that's it anyways so just let you know oh I've got my I got my cream on got my little cellophane on the cream so the numbing cream and uh, we'll see what happens I'm hoping I don't know what I'm hoping for really because the more this gets delayed the more longer it's gonna take um, it'd be nice to have another break for this week but I don't think so I'm scheduled for four hours of chemo so I don't think I'm gonna get a break this time ain't gonna get out of it this time no get out of jail card free free card no <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for it but at least I'm feeling a lot better and when I get home, I'm going to go ahead and take the ibuprofen. I'm going to go ahead and take the Benadryl. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just medicine up and hope that I don't get another fever. Um, those fe That fever did a number on me. It made my half sores. It's healing up. I don't have any more sores in my mouth. Um, I mean, I'm healing up pretty quickly for only having a week. Um, I cleaned my whole house. I had the energy to clean the whole house. Um, Grandma got her a shower yesterday. and So we were really productive for this week. And I was grateful for the break. Mr. Christine was grateful for the break. Um, but now, I don't know. I don't know what we're in for, but we're in for something. So... I will catch you later once we get to the hospital and film that beautiful architecture. I love the shape of that building, the Cancer Center building. I love the shape of it. I don't know what it is about it. I love the architecture about it. Um, I think I like the fact that it's all windows and it's and it's around, it's rounded. And um, I don't know, I think it's very interesting architecture and how it's put together and stuff. So. Whoever did it did a good job. All right, so I will see you at the next step. See you soon. Um, yeah. yeah, I think you're not 100%. Yeah, yeah. just looking at you, but I look at some of your blood work as well. And so, you know, this is hard. This is the hard part, this I would say. Yeah. Part. This is the hardest part, I would say, you know, so because the, you've had so much treatment and your body's getting tired yeah, as a result it of is. it, you know, yeah. And so this is where it gets a little bit on the harder side, but we gave you a little bit more time to recover in between treatments. But as a result of that, the chemo is a little bit higher as a result of that. Yeah. So the side effects, you know, may be a little bit more pronounced in terms of, you know, nausea, um, you know, and um, diarrhea specifically. And, and I tell people, you know, it's all about getting through the treatment. So if we take a break here or there, it's okay. okay. Because the goal is to get through the treatment. To make today, and I wanted to discuss with you because I saw some of your blood work come back. And if we look at your blood counts from, you know, when you got your break, you know, about a week ago, 7.5. It's actually lower than last week, actually. So it's down about three points. Yeah. The other thing really is this... This count specifically is the one that I am the most concerned about. Oh, what is it? It's your neutrophil count. So it's basically a subtype of white blood cell uh -huh. that basically is important for fighting infection. Yeah. The lower it is, the more likely, you know, if you develop a fever or something like that, that's yeah. when you have to go into the hospital immediately. If you have okay. a fever and your white blood cell count is, is low. low like this, potentially. So my thought here is that, you know, your blood count actually went down after a week. Were you sick or anything like within the last week or anything no. happened differently? No, I felt great. Okay. To give that to you so before because like i said this is the heavier duty stuff that's going to happen so what if you need additional week we can do it if not we move forward but we got to be very careful because your blood counts will drop and if you have a fever they're going straight to the hospital oh, if you have a fever so yeah so that's that's the thing here is sort of the weighing should I, well, what, you think i should recommend them for another break this week i may i'm sort of of the opinion that maybe you need an additional week to recover 
So on the break. Yeah. So maybe it's better that you have a full like seven days of like feeling good. And, like, yeah. Yeah. This time is because if she has a fever and your white blood cell count is at a low level, that mm-hmm. could be a sign of very serious bacterial infection that you need to go in the hospital for. That requires IV antibiotics and uh-huh. probably at least a three to four day hospital stay. Uh-huh. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see that ain't worth it because yeah. then you'd be down for treatment. Exactly. Exactly. It still can happen regardless uh-huh. of whether we give you a break or not. But I think there's a higher risk if we go today because uh-huh. of that. of your blood counts. Yeah. Okay. It, we're, Alright guys, you take care of that. Have a good weekend. Thank you too. Okay, so we're here checking the um, P.O. box, but I did want to show you guys one thing. My fingernails, the treatment is messing up my fingernails. Let me show you. Okay, see my fingernails? Look it. They look bruised. See that? Look at that. See how bruised they look? See how bruised they look? My fingernails look so weird. And he's, the doctor looked at it and said, well, that's a side effect too. So my, even my fingernails were being affected. I had, I broke out in a rash. See the rash? That, this right here, all over my body, my legs, my back, my arms, my stomach, everywhere, this rash right here. But it's starting to get better now because I haven't had chemo for a week. So it was definitely side effects. And I am great I am grateful to have a break. For sure. Another break, another get out of jail card. Get out of jail free card. Get out of jail free card this week. I'm still feeling a little bit tired, but yesterday, um, we were able to give grandma, well, I was able to give grandma a shower and we took her outside. So she gets, she got to go outside for a little bit too. Um, and before I came, before I came here to the, um, to the hospital, I was able to clean my whole house. So I knew I would be sick if I had to get the treatment. So I went ahead and cleaned up the whole house so I didn't have to do it. So I got up about 7 o'clock this morning and cleaned the whole house. Cleaned Grandma's apartment last night after I gave her a shower. Um, and she had dinner and then went to bed. And while she ate dinner, I cleaned her apartment. So everything was cleaned. I was prepared to get the chemo treatment and have everything clean and ready to go. But I laid it in at God's feet. And the doctor decided your sugar or your uh, blood levels are way too low, the white blood cells, and it was concerning him. So none of that this week. Yay. But next week, it's going to have to go for it. <laughs>